Obviously, a lot of discussion, whether it's on the internet, whether it's in a newspaper, whether it's between people, whether it's on the news, about our upcoming visit by Mr. Trump on Thursday. Just to let you know where we are at this point right here. Met with the Suffolk County Police today, and also with um, the uh, Secret Service about, and my, my big concern, and we can talk about all the emotional issues of the Lasalle tragedy and, and why is it not. That's a political side of things. On the real practical side of it, this board's responsibility is, is responsible for the health and safety of the residents and visitors to the village. And we can all talk about where we stand politically, like I said, but please understand what we need to do here. Number one, their ability to have the function is allowed by the Constitution. It's called free speech. So whether we agree or we disagree, that, that issue of having it or not having it immediately comes off the table. Suffolk County Police Department and Secret Service obviously take a, take a very high level of interest in what happens. The Secret Service was in today talking about the streets would be closed, and none of those things will, will be settled till probably tomorrow, probably could be as late as um, Wednesday afternoon. They don't let out a lot of information about how, how he's arriving, where he's arriving, they give us direction of things to do. For example, David, one of the things we're going to be dealing with is we're probably going to be taking a third of the parking lot behind him and pouring him away. And we'll be, we'll be doing that early in the morning, on Thursday morning, and probably using s some of the, the barricades that you use for the, the Alive After Five to cordon that off. There'll be areas in the court parking lot with some of the protesters and then down by at the end of Railroad Avenue on Septon, where the most solar serial tragedy occurred. In between all of that, there are a lot of homes. There are a lot of people that live within those areas. What we'll be doing, what we'll be doing on, on that is, um, so the PD understands the, the number of residential units, obviously, between Riverwalk, Copper Beach, the apartments, the Church Street apartments, and how are we going to keep those areas safe. Public safety will be dealing with the parking, it seems, within Riverwalk, Copper Beach, and in and about Church Street. The Suffolk PD are putting together their plan, which we'll be dealing with tomorrow. So, just to put everybody's mind at ease in a sense of what is going to be happening that on that site itself, there's a lot, a lot of security going into place. Now there are events that are going to be going on around town, and there was a meeting this morning with some of those groups. There's something in front of the Congregational Church, I think at 4.30, 89 North is having an event, like I said, down the end of Road Avenue. There's going to be um, a vigil of, of sorts. They're all on, on the radar by Suffolk PD. They all understand what what their their responsibilities and their requirements are for keeping their people in place. And now it's just a matter of getting into the day and getting through the day. There'll be street closings, church, railroad, South Street, Gerard is my understanding as of right now. David, it could come to Main Street, we don't know, depending upon the amount of people that come onto Main Street during the course of the day. You know, one of the things that, um, a message that really needs to, to go out to our restaurant owners is there's gonna be a lot of people in town, I hate to use the word pre-gaming, but sitting around having a, a couple of cocktails waiting for something to happen, mm -hmm. you know, at five o'clock, that they're very judicious and they're cautious on how they handle their customers during the course of the day. When this is all over, it's going to be a reflection on us as a community. You know, I, I think back to 2008 and how we as a community handled it. And I'm hoping that the, 
the lessons we learned then are the lessons that we take take into to account on um, Thursday. But as we go through the process, we'll be advising um, Mike White and on his website, go we'll on in advance those places. Information we'll put on our site also as as we begin to get clarification as to what secret, the Secret Services plan is. And unfortunately, I don't really tell you. You know, they talk about helicopters and then they talk about flying into MacArthur and having a motorcade. That's why they call it Secret Service. Right. <laughs> With a capital S. So, we're not going to know how the gentleman's going to get here, how it's going to be handled. Um, there will probably be in and about the building itself between 35 and 40 Secret Service and Suffolk PD people within that area around the Emporium up and down those blocks. So I think that's going to be a very secure area. They've indicated that they will have additional patrols, obviously, on Main Street all day, David. I think they'll see foot patrols. Um, and plus, obviously, the, the marked cars. And uh, some guys that are walking around look like Mike White, but are really cops. <laughs> <laughs> but, so I, I think the security side of it, they're very, very organized. And it, it really is, in a very strange sort of way, sort of interesting to sit there and kind of watch how they operate. Because very clear, very precise what their plans are. So, um, like I said, my sense is that it will be taken care of very professionally and judiciously. And people have to understand that I think, how did you put it, Brian, when you worked with the Suffolk PD over the three things? If you hit somebody, take something, right, do throw something, something right. throw something, then you're going. Right. You know, people come in and want to make noise, come in with signs. <laughs> but they, they have, were very clear that they're not going to tolerate yeah. any violence at all. They'll scoop you up. And the fifth precinct is 1,500 feet from the... Uh, they're going to play a room for them. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they will have their um, <clears throat> emergency units there. They have their, their, their mobile jail that they'll have there. They'll have all of those things. So all I'm saying is I think that if I didn't have to be around on Thursday, I don't think I'd be around. But unfortunately, I have to be around. So... <laughs> But as we hear things, we'll try to get it out as best we can. So just, you know, just keep in mind and understand. It's a, it's a work in progress by both the Suffolk County PD and Secret Service, us, and numerous other agencies that I probably don't even know about. Thank you. Okay. Um, the presentation. 